So welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. Today we have the things that won't be in the game. Of course, we've done already two other episodes, so if you've missed anything, make sure you go and watch them. Today we're building upon the series and having one more episode. I think we've covered most of the things now that won't be in the game, so I think this one will be the final episode in the series. On this channel, we always talk about the latest FIFA 22 news, so if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you are subscribed right now. Today's video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you want to get some FIFA coins, check out Mule Factory. The link will be in the description. If you use my code VAPEXFOOT, you also get 5% off. So it's looking like VAR won't be a feature in FIFA 22. After all the gameplay reveals and details, there was no mention of VAR at all. It's safe to say that VAR is not coming to FIFA 22, for obvious reasons I guess, but we'll talk about what EA has to say. This was an answer by Sam Rivera, who is the gameplay producer. He says, uh, in a video game, what it would be doing to the experience isn't very important at this time. The system knows if a challenge is a foul or not. I would actually disagree sometimes, because some things do go wrong in this game. But we decided to focus on areas which we consider higher priority. That doesn't mean it won't arrive in the future, but there are no plans to include it in FIFA 21. Now, obviously, they did not include it for FIFA 22 as well. Hopefully, one day we see it, but there has to be the right implementation. You don't want it to cause issues in the game. And, of course, they would have to program referees to make errors and stuff. I don't know if it's really that important to have in a game, but obviously it's not coming this year once again. Another thing that won't be in FIFA 22 is the old player career mode. That is the player career mode that never got updated. The same thing for the last 10 years or so. EA this year has finally decided to overhaul player career mode. And while it's not the complete package, it's got a lot of new features that do make it more exciting and more appealing to people. Things like locker room cutscenes, perks, experience points, coming on as a substitute, manager rating, skill trees, and more. I'm really excited for this one. I think I want to try this out, and I think I'm actually more excited for player career mode than manager career mode at the moment, because manager career mode didn't really get too many new features besides creator club. But yeah, I guess you can say the old school player career mode is not going to be in FIFA 22. It's time to say goodbye to some commentators in FIFA 22. Some of these people have been removed in favor of new people. We spoke about commentary in yesterday's video, so I'm just going to go over the few changes very quickly for the purpose of this series. So first up, we have Lee Dixon, who's now been removed as a commentary person, and uh, Stuart Robson has replaced him, of course. And then we have Alan McAnally, who has now been removed. He did the sideline commentary, and uh, he's been removed in favor of Alex Scott. On the Italian side of things, Stefano Nava has now been removed in favor of Daniele Adani. So those are just a few commentators that got removed in FIFA 22. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys know about this one, but another thing that got removed in FIFA 22 was the Lazio license. Lazio will be like Piemonte Cultural, Roma, all that kind of stuff now in FIFA 22. Fake kits, fake badge, fake name. Pretty sure the players will remain uh, legit though, so you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, the license has been removed. All right, let's talk about Volta now. So EA has confirmed very recently that they have removed some features from Volta this year. They said, we removed the in-game positions to enable more free-flowing football. We wanted players to be able to attack and defend when the situation calls for it, instead of feeling forced into specific positions or roles during the match. So I guess there's no striker position or centre-back position. I guess everyone just plays where they want to. In terms of recruiting players, they said we really want to focus the experience this year on you and your avatar, as well as playing with your friends. We want the experience to be about self-expression and bonding with other gamers. While recruiting players, icons and celebrities provided some interest, we saw that the motivation was conflicting with the core experience we were creating. It took the focus away from developing and customizing your avatar and playing with friends. So they removed the ability to recruit players. Chemistry has also been removed in this year's uh, version of the game. It's pretty much the same sort of excuses. They wanted to focus more on you and your friends and less on individual squad building. The second excuse is something to do with uh, positions and stuff. So yeah, you can read that if you want. They've also removed the story mode, the debut. They got rid of that now, so there's no single player story mode in Volta anymore like you could do it in FIFA 21. It wasn't that long. It was just probably like 45 minutes or something, but it did provide some playability. And also they've removed solo online play from Volta. So you can't play online by yourself. EA wants people to make friends, be nice to each other, all that kind of stuff there. You can pause it and read it if you want. But yeah, the, the focus really is more on online stuff and uh, less offline. Now, EA has also removed some things in FIFA Ultimate Team this year. So here is a summary. They've removed the leaderboard in Foot Champions. EA just wants you to play the games now, do as well as you can and claim your rewards. They wanted to make Foot Champions less stressful. 
They have also removed the game cap from division rivals, so you can play as many games as you want now. Weekend League has also been uh, downgraded to less than 30 games. They haven't announced uh, how many games at the moment, I think. You no longer need to wait as well for the weekend to finish to claim your rewards for foot champs. And uh, also, in terms of starting out, they've removed the placement matches from division rivals alongside the placement route through squad battles as well. And they've also removed in the Ultimate Team menus the quick access to the stadium thing. So in the menu, I think if you held up the L stick, it will take you to the stadium customization. They removed that quick access thing now because some players were accidentally getting into that space when they didn't want to. And for skill moves this year, they've removed the skill move cancel for La Croqueta, Elastical, Reverse Elastical, and Scoop Turn. So after three episodes in the series, I think it's fair to say we've covered most of the things that will not be in FIFA 22. If I missed anything, it's probably likely it's not going to be in the game anyway. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like for me. It always helps. And please check out this other video as well. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you straight there. I'll see you next time.